webinar of Fleet Forum on the topic of diverse teams. Is it worth the investment or not? Um, again, welcome to everyone. I see that already a lot of people joined us uh, today. And it would be interesting to see where everyone comes from. So it would be great uh, because that also is a test if you can all hear me in the chat, if you can say uh, your name, your organization, and where you are from. Yeah, so everyone knows who's in the call. Uh, we know where you're from. We get a bit of an idea on, let's say, the type of people and the functions and the roles of people that we uh, that we have. Um, I will run through a presentation, but I will definitely need your input as well. So we have a poll and we have some questions. So I would like to make it partly as interactive as possible. Um, so I need your active engagement as well. On the topic of diversity, which is a word that's been used a lot, um, not always clear exactly what it means. So I will tap into that a little bit more as well. So what does it mean, diversity? And also what would be the benefit of having a more diverse team? Eh? And whether it's your driver team or the team that you have with your staff in the office or in general, let's say, what's the benefit uh, of a diverse team? If you have any questions during the session, please use the question mark. Eh? You see it at the bottom, a question mark. If you click on the question mark, and then you typed your question, makes it easier uh, for me to publish that on the screen at the end, because we will have some time for questions and answers as well. So great, I see already quite some people uh, typing, uh, letting know, let's say, where they are from, from what organization to work they work for. So it's great. I'm very happy to see you all. So just to give an idea on diversity related to uh, agenda. I have a short poll for you. Uh, and just, um, uh, you see the poll here, and I would love to see, okay, how would you describe your own gender? Uh, and then we get a, a bit of an idea on um, how the gender balance is in this call. Uh, already gives a bit of an indication of the people we work with the people we are here in the call with. So it's easy, just click on, um, uh, let's say, uh, your preferred choice, whether it's your female, your male, uh, you prefer to self-drive or you prefer not to say. And I see that people are uh, typing in. Uh, with a little more time, because I see there's many more people in the call <clears throat> than uh, that actually voted here. So if you just came into the call, uh, welcome. Um, and please, let's say, submit your choice uh, in this poll as well. And then I will close it. I think it already uh, gives a good indication. Uh, and here you all see the results. Uh, so um, almost all people in this call are male. And I think that you can all, let's say, recognize this as well. I think in general, fleet management in the Aiden development sector is still a pretty much male dominated, uh, let's say, environment in which we work. Yeah? We do not, do not have um, females, uh, women in this webinar. That's already an indication for, let's say, how balanced um, our community uh, is. So if I would ask you, and please type in, in the chat box, do you think that a female passenger would prefer a female driver? Just from your own experience, uh, your own opinion, um, your own thoughts. So do you think that in general, 
Uh, and there are, will always be exceptions. In general, female passengers prefer a female driver. Uh, um, so let me see what the thoughts are of you. I see a yes. I see a not really. I see a no, a yes, a no, a no, not really, not much, no. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, we have female drivers at IRC Lebanon. I'm very happy to hear. Uh, yes, no, depend on the personal preference. Yeah, I can only agree. Yes, no, depends on the perception of the person. Uh, yes, but generally no. So it, I see, I'd say, a bit more than 50% of you say no. I don't think that female passengers in general would prefer a female driver. I will come back to that later a bit. Huh? So uh, looking at the poll, uh, the, the, uh, huh? this webinar uh, mostly engaged uh, by uh, male, uh, by men in this webinar, and the answer that you give. I think a little less than 40% would say, yes, I think so. And of course, it depends on the perception of the person. So let's another one. Do you think that all the passengers would prefer older drivers. Yeah, so if passengers are older, would you think that they would prefer older drivers or that it doesn't matter to them? It doesn't matter at all. I say whatever, driver, young or old, I'm always fine. Okay, let's see. I see the yes. No, yes, no, 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 no. So the majority here is, although um, they consider that huh, old are wise, relatively calm. Yeah, that could definitely be a reason why some older passengers would prefer an older driver as well. Uh, Jackson also says, yes, they are more safe, not necessarily. So also here I see the majority says no, but some also say yes, because, you know, I see all the people are perceived as more calm, uh, safer. So that's, an, a, let's say, another perception of looking at what older drivers mean and why people would prefer that. Okay. So here, again, uh, differences in opinions, sometimes yes, and with a reason, sometimes no, with the reason as well, different perspectives on how people would perceive that. We do two more of these type of questions. So do you think that women in general prefer a female manager? Yeah. Would women feel more comfortable or would be happier with a female manager? Okay, just indeed, yes or no. I see a lot of uh, yes, no, yes, yes, yes. So here, I think it's more balanced. Absolutely not. Sometimes someone even says, uh, no, 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 no. Also here again, I think I'm not a female, but I would assume no. I, tell, I think that's a very important addition. Uh, you can say, I'm not a female, but I would assume, because that assumes that you're open to, let's say, hearing from a female colleague or a female person how she would think about it. Okay, so here's more balanced. I think that 50% would say yes, and 50% would say no. The last one then. Here, do you think that men in general prefer a female manager? Eh? Where I say about well, women, 50% of you says, I think that women would prefer a female manager. 50% said no. And do you think that men then prefer a female manager? Let's see what we have here. So, yes, no. Yes, 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 no. I see again a sort of a balance, 50%, Jill, yeah, between the yes and the no. And that's also, Grace, you'll say 50 50. Uh, so, that probably. 50-50 loans as well. 
Um, so also here, indeed, it's a bit of a balance with 50-50. Um, so it's interesting to see that, you know, it's all, this is about perception, personal preferences, personal feelings, personal experiences. And all the four questions I raised is a bit of a balance, sometimes maybe 60-40, then 50-50. So it's not science. It's not like, okay, this is how it is. You know, everyone has the same answer. It, people have different perspectives, different opinions about this. And that I think is when we get to diversity or inclusion or equity, all these names, topics um, uh, that are being used more and more have, let's say, a relation with what we just did. 50-50 uh, about opinions about how does it work between age diversity, gender diversity. So let's have a, a quick look at what does it mean? What does diversity mean? What does inclusion mean? What does equity mean? So diversity, I think, which is probably the, the easiest one of those, is what we and what most of you will know. That is about who is represented in the workforce, in your team, uh, in the organization. Right? Like, do we have people from uh, different gender? Do we have people with, from different ages, from different ethnicity, from uh, with different physical ability or different religions? So this is everything where people feel, okay, I'm a bit different than that other person. Is Do you have people from very diverse um, objectives, the perspectives, areas, regions, um, cultures, et, et cetera, et cetera, represented in your workforce. That in itself is diversity. And the interesting thing about diversity, I will come back to that later a little bit more, is that it's not so much about do you have uh, females and males, do you have older people, younger people, uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It, in the end, it's about having different perspective. It's the way that people think. And most of the time that is related, let's say, to diversity. Uh, this example in this uh in the picture you see here, something on the floor, and six people, seven people think something completely different about what it is uh, from the uh the number eight. Uh, to a pretzel, uh, to a, it's a wave, it's infinity, et cetera, et cetera. So the most important thing is that in a diverse team, you have people with different thoughts, different opinions. So that's diversity. If we talk about equity, and most, most of the time, actually, you see equality. And I would really make a difference between equality and equity. Yeah? Because equity is you respect people with completely different characteristics, different ideas, different needs uh, in your organization. You respect them all and you treat them in a way that they all have an equal chance to be successful. Equality is actually the picture in the, um, uh, in the left, where you say we treat everyone exactly the same. So in this case, very basic, simple case. Everyone has the same step up. But it means that that is not really equity. People do not have the same chances if you do it like that. Because some people have different needs. In this case, uh, uh, the, the young boy needs a much higher step up to be able to see it the same as other people. So equity in an organization means that you have a fair treatment for all people, meaning you offer people all the same chances, but it means that you could have a different approach for people with uh, different needs. Uh, and that is important if you talk about equity. Then the last one is inclusion. What does inclusion mean? So the fact that you have a, a diverse team, so people from different ages, uh, different cultures, different races, different religions, different gender, the fact that they are in the team does not mean that they feel like they are 
an active part of the team just because they have a job and they have a job in a team which is diverse does not mean that they feel included and inclusion is that people really feel respected rewarded heard um, that they feel like they are open let's say to raise questions open to give their opinion they really feel like i'm part of this team i'm recognized with, with, for what i do i feel open to say whatever i want um, i feel rewarded for the work that i do so that is really what inclusion is so diversity is one it's about who are the people in your team we have a diverse team and inclusion is about do all these people all also feel comfortable in that diversity so if you look at diverse teams and if you do it right you have a diverse team with inclusion as well so what are the benefits there's a lot of research being done on diversity or diverse teams and the outcome let's say of most of the research is that diverse teams are more successful can be more successful and why is that or what is it that makes them more successful so diverse teams are better in problem solving they say so they get problems and they use different perspectives of people different opinions of people different approaches of people different backgrounds of people different experiences of people to solve problems so people um, are able as a team with all these different let's say angles that they use to be better problem solvers for the same reason they're also better to adapt to new situations also uh, there's crisis coming up or completely changed uh, uh, circumstances environments in which it in, in which you have to work and diverse teams are better able to adapt again because they all have these different backgrounds different perspectives uh, perspectives etc better in decision making as well uh, leading to better problem solving better in understanding customers and customers can be very broad uh, of course commercial companies have customers but in the development sector we have customers our passengers are definitely customers beneficiaries are customers uh, colleagues are customers so and diverse teams are better in understanding the needs the challenges of the customers and are better able to respond to that so the customer satisfaction will go up as well and another benefit is also that people who work in successful diverse teams are happier with their work they're more engaged in the work that they do more engaged with the organization there are many many more benefits but just these are some examples of let's say um, why or let's say how diverse teams are more successful and if you look at the why well actually huh, already uh, mentioned some of them in a diverse team you have you have many different perspectives because people bring their own experience they bring their own background um, so they br they were brought up in a completely different environment for example or they in their working life they have different experiences if you have different experiences if you are uh, a man or a woman uh, or um, if you come let's say from a very poor background or a very rich background if you are much older with a lot of experiences in work or you're much younger uh, with many more maybe up-to-date knowledge so you all bring your own perspective and that means that you are better able again, to, to make decisions to solve problems because you have many more different perspectives and skills because you all bring your skill set um, avoid group thinking what happens, which you, most of you will recognize, if you have a, a homogeneous team with all, let's say, the same sort of the same people with the same background, uh, same age, um, same gender, et cetera, et cetera, you, these teams tend to, let's say, think as a group. Someone says something, another word, oh, I can relate to that. Oh, yeah, I recognize that. Or oh, had the same experience. Um, 
and you tend to, to start thinking as a group because you all feel the same because you bring the same perspective the same experience the same skill set so the last one is interesting here and that that um, is related to the different perspectives and the different experiences in a diverse team people start challenging each other yeah? where you say okay do you think that female passengers would prefer to have let's say a female driver a group of male men who did not have any uh, experiences with women not expressing feeling uncomfortable with them we say no 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 if you have let's say more male in your team or me, me, more women in your team they might say well i had some bad, bad experiences so i know that it's extremely important for many women to have a female driver it doesn't mean that that's the decision but at least it brings a different perspective you challenge each other and if you listen to each other if you're open to other perspectives um, you will be better able to take the right decisions so we know a dive first teams are more successful we also know why that is but there's a huge risk which you see here so a diverse team needs to be managed in a very 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 good way and what you see here this is what well, a picture of a research has been done and at the right you see diverse teams diverse teams in a managed in a good way so the performance is high higher than any other teams it's also the number of teams that in this research of all the teams that they researched is much smaller so at the left side, you see diverse teams who are managed in a poor way. There you see that the performance is low, is even lower than homogeneous teams, where you have more group thinking, where you only have one perspective, only one, uh, let's say, common background, common experience. That is better, let's say, than having our diverse teams, diverse team, which is not managed properly that is an extremely important topic to think about so if you if you really take diversity seriously if you say i want to take the benefit of a diversity because i know it can be more successful then you really have to work extremely hard on it but it's extremely rewarding as well because your team will be more successful uh, and again whether it's a team of drivers or a team with your staff, any team which is more diverse, managed in the right way, can be more successful. Just some tips here on how to uh, ensure that your team can be successful. Establish a culture of respect and openness. And that is really what you, as you as a manager have to work hard on, to consistently communicate with people, discuss it with people, educate people continue to raise awareness about it looking at your policies and procedures because you really have to encourage open communication yeah you have to and you have to have, have respect for different perspectives also for yourself in your team you will have people who have completely different perspectives that do not agree with you and the moment uh, you do not deal with that in a proper way you have uh, then the team will not be, let's say, have the benefits of a diverse team. So for yourself, you have to get out of your comfort zone as well and be open to other perspectives who are completely different than your own because and have yourself challenged. So, okay, that might be an interesting perspective. I never thought about it like that. And it's not like you're not right because it's not about right or wrong. This is about as a group, can you bring different perspectives in a way that it, in the end, you take better decisions. You are better able to serve your customers, uh, um, uh, you, your passengers, for example, because you understand better what the needs of the customers are. You're better able to meet these needs. So you really have to look at it in a way that you create that culture. Uh, yeah, you educate, raise awareness, you look at your policies, uh, reach out to people for inclusive decision-making. So even if in your team, 
is not di diverse yet, reach out to other people outside of your team to bring in their perspectives. Really actively look for different perspectives, other perspectives, other backgrounds, other experiences to ensure that you make take the right decisions. There might be some bias and microaggressions amongst people because they have completely different perspectives and opinions and therefore they don't understand each other. That is where you really have to deal with each other and say, guys, girls, this is a great example of why uh, we can be more successful because we have different opinions. And that is a great asset for us as a team. And monitor, have discussions with people in the group, but also one-on-one. -on -one. Do people feel comfortable? Do people feel included? It's not a diverse team without inclusion, but do, you, do they feel the conclusion? And are you successful in managing that? I know that's a lot, uh, but I will stop here. And because I see there will be some questions, and I think some of the questions um, um, uh, are not as a question, let's say, marked. But I would, so what would you do to break the perception that drivers should always be male? Yeah, that's a, that's it's a good question, and it's not that's that's unfortunately not a one size fit all, eh, Kiara. Um, one thing you can do is really have discussions with people about why they think that drivers should be male. It could be, for example, a religious perspective. It could be the, perspe the perception that men are better drivers than women. It's, it's good to understand why people have the perception. And then you can also look at it. The per perception by many people that men are better drivers, that is easy, um, I would say, also to deny, but that's maybe the, the, the too tough, but just provide some, uh, let's say, insights and research that actually shows that women are safer drivers than men. In general, there's a lot of research being done, so that is the way to break the perception. At the same time, um, for example, if you deal in your organization with many female passengers, it would be interesting to do a short survey, for example, to ask the female passengers if they would prefer a female driver. So then you also have some data requests, requirements, needs from your customers, your, um, uh, your passengers that could support you to say, we need more female drivers. And then slowly, slowly, people will see, well, okay, women are very good drivers as well. Or actually, I like to work, to, to drive with uh, women. Uh, so one remark, I don't know who it was, uh, but, but from someone from World Vision, he said, we have very good female drivers and everyone wants to work with them. Uh, so that's just some of the ideas how you can break through that um, perception that drivers should always be male. Let me see uh, if we have, uh, I see, yeah, we have two female drivers in Kampala, very happy. Um, there's a, encourage females to apply and drive for jobs. Yeah, you really have to reach out and find people, uh, encourage women to apply for the job uh, as well, I uh, see also first women hired from UNICEF Lebanon. That's great. Uh, let's see, I'm scrolling through if there are any other uh, questions um, here. Let me, I will change this into a question. How can I convince my management to have a diverse team in our new area of operation? The state government said that during recruitment of drivers, some positions must be local. Um, yeah, I, let's say, well, for one, it is hard uh, to work against, let's say, uh, state government regulations. Yeah, so you still have to do that. 
Um, so that means that you have to look at other types of diversity, even uh, within local people, you can still look at gender diversity. You can look at um, uh, age diversity. You can look at uh, cultural diversity. So even if you uh, are forced to only work with, um, uh, let's say local, people, local drivers in this case, there's still a lot of diversity that you are able to bring together in, uh, in, in one team. And that's what I, I would say. Um, and so that doesn't, that means that you don't go against the regulations, but still you uh, are able to build a, um, uh, an, a, a agenda or they, let's say a, a more diverse team. Um, Let's do one more question. Um, and then because I see it's time to stop, how can an organization confirm to be an inclusive to its workforce, especially drivers who play great roles, but less involved in organizational decision and let motivated. That is a role where you as a fleet manager have an extremely important role to play to see how you still can engage your drivers in decisions that an organization make, even if they don't are the people who make the decisions in the end about different, let's say, experiences, processes in the organization, experiences of your drivers as well. You can think about how you can, uh, let's say, improve the performance of your driver team, how you can improve, let's say, the satisfaction of your passengers and use that in the organization to say, I think, I would suggest that we change the policy or procedure or process. Then you can still engage them and use the benefit of a diverse team. That's what I uh, would, would suggest that you can at least try. Okay. We will stop here. Um, I think there's many more questions around this topic. Um, so um, we will probably come back on this at the conference. Let's say in June, there is a topic specifically about diverse teams as well. Uh, and to see who one of the organizations plan international deals with that uh, to encourage women to become managers and drivers. So now, thank you. As you know, the recording is, um, uh, is on our knowledge platform. Uh, and I hope to see you all again at the next week's Wednesday webinar. Bye bye.